Hey, welcome to week seven. Okay, this week we're going to read two chapters, chapter four, Civil Liberties, and those are rights that are protected in the first 10 amendments of the Constitution known as the Bill of Rights, but they are civil liberties, meaning they are protected from government intrusion. So you're going to read chapter four, Civil Liberties, and to help you keep them straight, you're going to read chapter five, Civil Rights. Um, obviously, we have the Civil Rights Movement. We see Supreme Court cases like Brown versus Board of Education that ends segregation in public schools. We see the brave actors like Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr., and then the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and the Fair Housing Act of 1968. So several movements. Um, you're going to have an assignment. So for the assignment, you're going to read, I've linked the Constitution, read it, and look at the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. List one through 10. Tell me something about each one of those rights. For example, there are several things protected in the First Amendment. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, free exercise of religion, pick one. Um, the Second Amendment is pretty clear, the right to bear arms. Uh, the Third Amendment, you know, go through each thing, pick one thing. If you don't know something from that amendment, Google it, <laughs> but make sure you list your source. All right, so all 10, the Bill of Rights. Then I want you to read a Supreme Court case, Griswold versus Connecticut. You will be shocked, I think, that in 1965, uh, well, you'll be shocked. So read the case, answer the questions. Uh, it'll be shocking to you, though, how recently some of these things that we take for granted have been protected or implemented. All right, so reach out to me with questions. If you have missing or late assignments, turn them in. I do not penalize for late submission. I just want you to do the work, but we are in week seven of 10. So the only thing working against you is the clock because when we run out of time, we run out of time. All right, have a great week.